Welcome back to Crafting with Cord Chapter 1. Here we are in a new world. Uh, the last world was great and I had a lot of fun in it, but it was quite old. Uh, the videos I stopped making, the last video series, um, ended like a year and a half ago, so obviously a lot of new stuff has been added. I kind of wanted to play with that stuff. Uh, so here we are in this new world. Uh, it's a large biome world, so. Uh, the savanna is actually very large. Uh, it stretches out for hundreds of blocks in each direction. Um, yeah, so it's this is actually a pretty cool feeling. Once once I explore the world some more, I think I'll really enjoy this. Um, this cave right over here is the first cave that I explored. Uh, I set up this little base here because I came out of the cave and just started setting up like chests and furnaces and random farms and then. Uh, Oh, his helmet must have broken. Don't want to fall in there with him. Yep, he's blurred him to death. Uh, so, yeah, I came up here and would find stuff down in the mines. There was an abandoned mine shaft down there that got me the pumpkin seeds. Uh, those are pumpkins over there. And the melon seeds. And also got me some diamonds for an enchantment table and a diamond pick, which is in my stash here. Uh, so, yeah. And, uh, there's also a village, I believe, right over there, maybe. I'm not very... I don't have my bearings very well in this world yet. Uh, I got some potatoes and some carrots, which, which are great. Uh, I didn't have to go looking for those. Uh, and I just have this really simple kind of doorway system. The uh, mobs won't path over this. So most of the time they'll just, like, run up against... Well, out here. Whoops out here they'll just run up against the fence and just walk along and not find me and if they do uh, get too close they'll just fall in this 3D pole and not be a problem at all uh, and I can just if I just walk along the side here whoops I can just walk through here and if I'm not if I don't wanna cut it close like that I can just jump over very simply and it's just a very easy uh, doorway uh, yeah just, just a very easy simple doorway that I've set up. I think my hostile sounds might be a little loud. Let me turn that down. Uh, where's hostile creatures? Let's let's do 60. And uh, yep, that's about it for this little area. I think. Yep, sure. Oh, I have a chicken farm. That's the other thing I was I keep thinking of, but then not saying. Um, I just threw a bunch of chickens in the savanna, so I eventually just put one down in a hole and put a hopper underneath it and it's grown to a very prosperous chicken farm um, I'm gonna move this chicken farm over into uh, my buildings over here once I get those built uh, so this is the spawn town and I put up this board just to kinda keep track of everything I need to do so I need to um, yeah well you can read everything I need to do uh, these are all farms here and uh, the only thing I've started so far is the mine, which I can show you. Um, this mine right over here. Uh, I don't really know what I want to do with the building. I think I probably will put some windows or something on on the sides, but for right now, this is it. Uh, there will be double doors. You just come in here, and then there's going to be a pit here. Let's, yep, a pit down there. I just put some water in there because I have already died once. Got a new death message I'd never seen fell off the ladder before. So that's, I guess, a, a, oh, a bright side to dying. Uh, it goes all the way down to bedrock level, and I have a little, uh, this little area cleaned out. I haven't really done, I haven't done any branch mining yet. Uh, my idea is that I'll have a chest down there that I can put stuff in, and then it'll do a, uh, what's it called, an elevator up to here and then just automatically collecting the chest up here so I don't have to if I have a whole bunch of stuff to carry I can just drop it in Whoa. holding shift next to ladders is has some odd effects so uh, I don't have to make a whole bunch of trips up and down because climbing a ladder is annoying but it'll just come up here and drop into some chests and yeah this will be super easy uh, then I can just grab this stuff up here so I've been hard at work here and I will show you what I've done so far just smelting up some stone here that I can turn into uh, stone bricks. So this is the mine building that I have built. 
Don't know if I really like it from the outside. Um, I wanted to kind of highlight the corners with the polished andesite, but it's a bit overwhelming, so uh, I'm not sure about that. On the inside, I think it, the walls look much better. The highlight is much, uh, it's much less noticeable or much, much smaller, much more of a highlight rather than like a main feature. Uh, kind of like these, this door. I don't know. I don't know if I like that door, but it's kind of nice. It's good for right now. And this floor also might need changing. Um, kind of just went crazy with all the new, all the new stone here. So. Uh, I guess that's my excuse. <laughs> um, uh, right here is going to be a chest for all the uh, stone. Let's just drop this off. Uh, and let's grab some of this stone. I'm, I've been working down in the mines quite a bit. Let's drop on down there. Uh, this shaft leads all the way down to bedrock level. You can see bedrock right there. But the, my main mine is going to be on floor 10 or what is it level 10 I guess this is the room this torch is directly below uh, the double chest that's up in the main room I want to work out an item elevator to raise items all the way up there I think that should be uh, I think that should be good be pretty cool uh, so there are going to be four main tunnels leading off in each direction and every five blocks there's going to be a branch like this um, on off all the four main tunnels so it's going to create a grid system kind of like uh, what you see let's come over here I think somewhere yeah right over here kind of looks more like a grid system um, and it's going to leave just four by four blocks of uh, unmined stone um, that should reveal most most of the ore. Uh, some of the ore will still be missing, but anything that's not uh, visible here is really just going to be like a 2x2 two two block within the 2x2 two two block in the middle, so it can't be that much. Um, so it should should be good. I, I don't know if I'm overkilling the uh, amount of digging I'm doing, but cobblestone is an, a horrible resource to have a bunch of. Uh, I have this polished andesite on the floor here to kind of highlight the uh, paths to the all the branches. I also have it on the ceiling. I think I'm going to take it off the ceiling uh, because it, I don't know, I don't think I really like it on the ceiling. Um, so that's what I brought this stone brick down for. Uh, should be pretty easy job just to switch it out. I'm um, pretty close to level 30. I died earlier uh, by falling off I guess I fell off the ladder. I don't know why I didn't get the, the fall off the ladder death message, but I fell off and died like right right here somewhere. Um, so I haven't hit level 30 yet. I really need to, because I found diamond. I don't know if you guys saw it on the floor over there. Uh, I need to mine that with fortune so that I can get more of it. But yeah, I'm going to get back to work and uh, show you my progress uh, in this area in a little bit. So I've been busy working, and as you can see, I just hit level 30. Um, I don't really have much to show, but I'm going to do my first enchant. I figured I'd put it on camera. I haven't uh, done this before. Silk touch. I don't think there's no way to change it. Right? I don't think. I'm just, oh, I put three in there, and then I can do level 30. Can I put in more? Would that do something? No. Okay. So I need to. Hey, pumpkin. Um. Do I want silk touch? Wait, what happens if I... Is that also silk touch? Yeah. Um, if I put in the bow, it'll say flame one, but it'll still say silk touch. Uh, let's go ahead and take that because I want this. Okay, well that, that's a good pickaxe. I wish it had uh, unbreaking, but silk touch on my first pickaxe isn't bad. So I'm going to get back to work and I'll show you... Uh, stuff in a little bit. I didn't realize until just after I finished recording that it only took three enchantment levels. I realized I did say that on the screen. I didn't realize what that meant. Um, but if you look here, it says like one enchantment level, two enchantment levels. And I guess that one doesn't say it yet because I don't have the levels. 
but um, it only took the two or the three levels, so I went back to 27, and then I was able to enchant. Uh, okay, that was the first one, and then this is the second one. I got Fortune 3 and I'm breaking 3, uh, which is really good. I haven't really been using the Silk Touch um, because I don't know, I just don't need it right now. I'll save that for like the Glowstone and other stuff like that that is better for Silk Touch. But the Fortune Pickaxe I've used a few times here, and um, I picked up that diamond that you saw down there, um, and just some other random stuff, a bunch of redstone. So I have 37 diamonds. I found uh, four patches or four veins of diamonds um, before I got the pickaxe, the fortune pickaxe. So I just saved it there. So I have a really big haul of diamonds. Haul, haul, haul. <laughs> I cannot pronounce haul of diamonds. That sounds weird to me. Uh, and I also worked out exactly how I want the um, ele item elevator to go. Uh, I've worked. I mean, I worked it out in creative. I do need a comparator for it. Uh, I need one comparator. Otherwise, I have all the items for it. I also added these doors. I don't know if I want buttons um, because buttons kind of suck because you have to press it and then walk through it. Uh, although I don't want mobs to be able to open up the doors either. I was also kind of thinking about um, iron pressure plates. But anyway. Uh, so I, have to, I do have to wait till I get to the nether to build this item elevator, but um, I think I can get started on it and pretty much do everything except for the last um, automated bit where it throws the items into the uh, into this chest. So uh, I don't think I've done anything that's worth showing down here, but I'll check just in case. Um, yeah, this is what it looks like. I've dug out a bit right into some caves and yeah that's just about it so I'm gonna get back to work and show you guys some progress I realized while I was working on the item elevator that I would also need some ice uh, and that I cannot get ice anywhere I realized I would need the quartz for the comparator but not the ice I'm not sure if I could just uh, Build like a really big like tower. Oh my gosh, there's a lot of guys here. Build a really big tower and get water to freeze that way. I'm not sure if that'll work in the savannah since it's uh, like a desert, like it's a dry biome. I think I don't know what the actual term is, but well, like it doesn't rain in the savannah, so I don't know if water will freeze even at high heights. Um, so I've been running around looking for other biomes. I ran. Uh, like right now I'm 600 or so blocks away from my base it's in that direction my base is at about a thousand negative four hundred uh, and yeah so I'm pretty far away and this is still the same savanna and then here's the ocean so <laughs> this is a very big biome I guess to be fair it is a large biome world but it's a lot bigger than I thought it would be um, so I'm going to just keep on looking, hopefully I can find, you know what, I'm an idiot, I didn't bring my silk touch pickaxe anyway, but this is what, this direction didn't work out anyway, so I might as well go back and find, uh, or go back and pick up my, don't blow up please, thank you, uh, go back and pick up my um, silk touch pickaxe. So anyway, I'm going to stop being stupid and go go my way. Oh, there is a river here, but that doesn't really matter. Whoa. Let's knock and knock in here. But That's crazy. I mean, the ravine is normal, but just like floating water. I want to just take that off. Floating water. I don't really want to update it. But like if I place this torch right right next to it it would spill out but that's really cool there was also floating sand that I saw over in the uh, beach I think it was a beach and not a desert but yeah that's really cool let's is there anything cool this way I just know I'm gonna be like knocked down there and die somehow so I'm 
looking around constantly. Anyway, I'm going to head back, actually pick up the thing I need to get the ice, and uh, go back on the hunt. So I was just running back, and I don't know, I'm only like a hundred blocks away from where I was when I last stopped recording, and I found this. This is the edge of a chunk right here, but I, I don't know why. Usually this is caused by uh, having an old world and then like uh, playing it more in a new uh, in a new uh, version that has a different world generation algorithm. But as far as I know, world generation didn't change in the past. Uh, in the last snapshot. I really hope it didn't because like, the whole point was to have consistent world generation. Well, I, I guess that wasn't the whole point, but that was a point um, for me to not just keep using the last world. That's really strange that I would do that. Anyway, I'm going to keep running back. I hope I don't find more of that type of stuff. So I'm a few thousand blocks away from my base, still looking for uh, any type of cold biome. I found another place like this. I, it is a chunk there, but I don't think it's from uh, from this world being generated in multiple versions, as far as I can tell. I think it's just an error with world generation. Um, I found another spot like this, it's like the whole area, although over here is a little strange as well, I was going to say the whole area is pretty normal except for like one chunk. I think rivers just don't work or something, I'm not sure exactly, but it just seems like things are a little off. Uh, like before, uh, the spot I just showed you was like the end of a river just dead ending into a wall. And I found another spot like that in the original savanna. Oh, there's a witch. I found another spot like that in the original savanna. And then here's another river that just kind of... If I get down closer, I don't want to aggravate the witch. Yeah, down here, now it's a river. Uh, yeah, I think something's wrong with river generation in savannas. Maybe in large biomes, or maybe... Yeah, here's another spot right here. Maybe this world got generated... Strangely, I think there was a snapshot today. I hope they didn't change world generation. Well, they did change world generation, didn't they? I really hope not. I thought they just added custom world generation. Oh, shoot. <laughs> Whoops. It's too bad if they actually changed uh, generation. Anyway, I'm going to keep looking. Uh, yeah, I've had no luck so far. A uh, couple planes and a savanna. Another savanna is all I've found so far. So I'm going to get back to work. I tried making an ice tray up at uh, build height. I ha even had one just above this at 255, but it didn't. the water didn't freeze in the savanna. So I'm going to chop this all down. I'm in the process of doing that now. I figured I'd show you uh, before it's all down. And I'm going to rebuild it over um, in the ocean, I guess. I tried looking online, but no one seemed to have information on uh, on the freeze height needed for um, for biomes other than extreme hills. Extreme hills is evidently right about a hundred, but besides extreme hills, um, no one seemed to post exact numbers. So uh, yeah, I'm going to just try out some other biomes. I guess hopefully I get lucky. I was. Well, sorry about that. I was all around um, the continent and never seemed to find a any type of cold biome. I did find some, I guess, normal biomes, but never cold. So hopefully, I get lucky with uh, water freezing because of height. Here I am up at the build limit over an ocean, uh, it's just right by my base, and water still won't freeze. I've been sitting here like 15 minutes, no freezing, so I guess I'm going to clear this out and dig back down, or dig back down, uh, go back down and look for a snow biome. 
I didn't want to use a mist because I wanted my world to be kind of like a surprise as I explore it, but I went like 3,000 blocks in one direction and didn't come across any type of biome that I think would freeze. Uh, I think I can just jump off now. Hopefully this works. Yep. <laughs> that was fun. Uh, guess I'm gonna have to pick up all that stuff off the ocean floor now. Um, yeah, so I think I'm gonna cross the ocean, get some boats going, and maybe there'll be something there. I should have brought a map with me when I explored the continent. Destroy this one. And um, I would do a map, but I don't want to figure out maps right now. I just want to get ice and get uh, get going. I always press shift to try to run. It never works. That looks really, really cool. Just gravel coming out of nowhere. Anyway, I'm going to keep looking and catch up to you hopefully when I've gotten some ice. I have bad news. I was sailing around in the middle of the open sea and uh, I wasn't that far away but I was, I don't know, at least a couple hundred blocks and uh, my ship, or my boat I guess, just randomly crashed and I was on land then all of a sudden I was warped somewhere else and then I paused the game I thought and got up away from the computer for a second and when I came back I was on my inventory screen, which is, must have been what I pressed instead of uh, pause, and I was dead. I drowned to death. Uh, yeah, you can see there, I drowned to death. Um, and I'm not really sure how that happened because I got off on land, so I should have been fine. I, I mean, I I would have. I mean, I figured I could have like been killed by a zombie or something. Um, but I got up for a couple minutes. I'm not sure how long I was... Oh, come on. Oh, there we go. I'm not sure how long I was away, so I don't know if my stuff is still there. I don't even know if I can find where I died, especially since I warped. I think I can find kind of approximately where I went. Uh, there should be land over in this direction somewhere. Hopefully. Maybe I... I don't know. And I've just followed it along um, its coast. Oh, I'm lagging a bit. I don't think I should record while I'm generating terrain, but I'll let you know in a few minutes if I find it. Find my gear, I mean. So I've been up and down this coast here for a couple minutes. Um, my boat just randomly disappeared while I was in it, so uh, getting back, I'll probably just kill myself, I guess. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I was just going along right over here in this little inlet and all of a sudden I wasn't in a boat and I didn't see the boat in any, way, any direction. So yeah, that's unfortunate. But Oh, so I did lose my silk touch pick, which sucks a lot. I did find... is that it? No, that's lava. I did find a dungeon over here. The first dungeon of the map. Let's see if I can find it. It's, they're pretty easy to spot in sand, um, since the sand caves in. Where is this it over here? Yeah, it looks like it. So many mobs I had to run away, because I didn't bring any armor and almost died. Yeah, I wish if you if I leave my F3 on, or if anyone leaves their F3 on when they die, it shows where they died, but you can't hit F3 after you die. And unfortunately I was just going around in a boat so I didn't have F3 on. I usually play with it on in case something bad happens, but this time I did not. And so I lost everything. Actually this might be where I died, but I'm pretty sure everything is gone by now. I don't know. I was trying to, if you, I don't know if you guys have seen this, if you get on the very top of the water. So like the top of your head is above the water but your eyes are still in the water. Everything brightens. It's really hard to get right at the right right about here. 
and then you can see everything underneath the water. I don't know, it's, it's hard to tell. There's ways to put yourself at that height, uh, like standing on stuff, but I don't have that stuff, and so, I don't know, I was trying to do that so I could see really far and maybe see the XP that I dropped, or my items, but I never found anything. So, that's unfortunate. I, even if I found a snow biome now, or a cold biome now, I wouldn't be able to, uh, I wouldn't, that's weird, I wouldn't be able to get, um, the, uh, ice from it now. Shouldn't there be snow in here? What is going on here? Or snow. Shouldn't there be a, uh, spawner in here? This is really bizarre. Did I create this world with like... No, because there's an abandoned mine shaft. Maybe... Maybe like a creeper exploded? Then the sand would have died too. I don't... that's... Well there's two rows of sand. I don't know. I don't know what happened here. Maybe... Can I do... Oh, I can do that. Okay, so that's the seed. Maybe I'll look up the seed and see if something has changed. I don't know. Uh, how did I get a redstone? I don't know. Actually, let's put it right here, just in case I ever come here again. Um, I have no way of getting back. This will just drop all this sand again. Oops. And then jump off and kill myself. <laughs> so I'm gonna go back to the base and I don't know, figure out how to end the episode that isn't as pathetic as the last half of this episode has been. So to wrap up today's episode I want to show you where I decided to put the blacksmith. It'll go right here and uh, I'll probably work on that for next episode. Uh, I worked on the item elevator and have it all worked out exactly. I just need my ice and my quartz to finish it off. All the whoops, all the items will end up in this chest. Uh, yep. And I also went around and collected two pigs, two cows, and two sheep so that I could start breeding them and uh, maybe start harvesting them and farming them. I definitely want a sheep farm so that I can get all the different colored wool that I need. And, yep, that mm -hmm. should be it for this episode. Uh, thanks for watching. I'll talk to you guys later. Uh, put up another video in a couple days, probably. Mm -hmm. Let me know if you liked this episode and if the sound was okay. Um, yeah, I had to change some sound levels. I got a new mic. And also, I've been getting some lag in Minecraft all of a sudden. I didn't used to get any lag, but now every once in a while my frame rates will just drop. I've actually had to re-record. Uh, this closing bit like four times because as soon as I start talking about lag my Minecraft starts lagging it's the strangest thing and when my Minecraft lags it just drops down to like two frames a second and the sound totally messes up as well so the recording is ruined um, so yeah so let me know if everything sounds right I'm gonna try to watch the episode before I post it make sure everything sounds okay but there might be some errors early on in the episode that I, either I don't catch or I can't really re-record so I left them in. Um, so I apologize if there are any errors, but thanks for watching. Let me know how you like it and I'll see you guys next time.